a match this promises to be, Jordan, as we move from the loaded tag division in NEW into the women's division, of which there are many fearsome competitors here on the West Coast, but perhaps none more fearsome than the woman making her way to the ring as we speak. That's Rhea Von Slasher. Von Slasher, one of the most violently unconventional wrestlers I have ever seen. Well, not just her, but also her opponent tonight. Max the Impaler set to hit the ring in mere moments. And I wonder if this crowd even knows who they want to cheer for in a match like this. But if you're a fan of chaos, if you're a fan of havoc, if you're a fan of hard hitting action, I think you're gonna find lots to cheer for between both of these wrestlers. Max the Impaler, also known as the non-binary nightmare, the warlord of the wasteland, former OVW women's champion. Oh. Just look at them. Justin Morris said our broadcast position is relatively far for the ring, but I'm not afraid to admit how scared I am even being this close <laughs> to Max the Impaler. And with good reason. The non-binary nightmare is right. Max the Impaler, they are making their NEW debut here this evening. Referee ringing the bell here, and we are underway for match two at NEW5. Rhea Von Slasher versus Max the Impaler. These two both hit like a truck. And we were wondering who this crowd was going to cheer for. They seemed firmly in the corner of Rhea Von Slasher at least to start. Now with our last match, we did see quite a bit of high flying. I don't imagine there's gonna be any high flying here, just ground-based brutality and violence. These two lock horns and neither can get the advantage in the early stages. Feeling each other out here a little bit. We saw, of course, Rhea Von Slasher previously in action at NEW2, Jordan, in a triple threat, taking on Sloan and Liza Hall. She had quite a showing that night, even if Sloan was the one who came out victorious. And it's Rhea who's able to duck out of the way. Max just impaled themselves on the ring apron, or the turnbuckle, I should say. Hard shoulder drives to the midsection from Rhea Von Slasher. Oof. Rhea looking for the cannonball. She might have taken the worst of that one as she goes for it again. Hits a lot cleaner the second time. That's the thing with that hard hitting offense. It takes a lot out of yourself as well. So you have to make sure you're picking your spots well. Look almost like a spear. She kind of crunched herself into Max in the corner. And now it's Max with the upper hand. Lifted up Rhea but could not deliver the killing blow. That's the thing about both of these competitors is they can dish out a lot of violence, but they could also take a lot as well. Nice Luthez press from Max the Impaler to take Rhea off her feet. It's going to be interesting to see, Justin, who the crowd seems to gravitate towards and gets behind as this match goes on. And I have it on good authority, Jordan, that in terms of all of the talents coming from out of town that we're bringing in for a show like this, of course, we're going to see Effie later on this evening. Uh, we're going to see B-Boy before too long here on this show as well. Taya Valkyrie is going to be Taya here. Taya Valkyrie as well. Nobody moved the needle quite like Max the Impaler. As soon as this match was announced, interest shot through the roof for NEW5. People super excited to see them wrestle here in NEW. And it's Max with the upper hand now. Rhea in a situation she's not particularly accustomed to finding herself in. 
getting overpowered in a match like this. She's typically the one doing this kind of bruising. Yeah, how would you prepare for a match like this when you're used to going up against people who are relatively smaller opponents? It's almost like mirror versus mirror here. Absolutely. You probably have to increase the weights you're lifting. I think we're not going to see the, uh, the pre-match training. The referee demonstrate a ton of authority here, wants to stay as far away from these two as possible. <laughs> I do not blame him. He's trying to take control of this match as Max has their boot over the face of Rhea. Rhea couldn't breathe for a moment there. I think if Max the Impaler kept that going and went all the way to a 10 count, the referee does not have the guts to disqualify yeah. Max the Impaler. Who among us would signal to ring the bell and end the match? I think this would be an unofficial no DQ <laughs> match because who's got the bravery to DQ either one of these wrestlers? Absolutely. This is turning into something of a slobber knocker. Max just throwing Rhea to the apron, and Rhea looks like she's in trouble right now. Referee saying to watch the hair, which again, I can't stress it up, is probably more of a suggestion rather than an enforcement of any rules. Rhea trying to pull herself up along the ropes. But Max the Impaler circling like a vulture, going in for the kill right now. Just had their... Hands wrapped around the throat of Rhea Von Slasher, but now it's Rhea who's turned the tables, pulling Max right into the ring rope for a choke. Rhea with a 6-1-9. More of a 6-0-4, perhaps. It's a 7-7-8 also. Let's not forget that area, Let's coach. not forget the 2-5-0 oh also. 2-5-0 oh as well. Rhea's from the island. Yeah. That might be more her area code. What a spear from Max. Talked about Rhea being unfamiliar with the territory she found herself in, reeling against a powerful opponent. Perhaps Max the Impaler is in unfamiliar territory right now as well, an opponent who can give it right back the way Max likes to dish it out. And as now it's Rhea with the upper hand. Pair of knees to the spine of Max the Impaler. Demonstrating some quickness with that rolling uh, somersault out of the corner there. And a released German will throw Max clean across the ring. Rhea goes for the cover, kick out at two. I feel like this crowd is just cheering for whoever hit the last big move. <laughs> you are not wrong. They are here for a show, and these two are giving them one at the moment as Rhea goes up looking for a Vader bomb perhaps, but Max able to grab her foot before she can reach that top rope. Rhea spills to the floor. Jammed her knees up pretty good before her face hit the apron. Oh, brutal stomp from Max the Impaler. Feet to the back as Max will roll Rhea over for a cover. And Rhea Von Slasher with some fight left in her yet. But how much is the question, given the punishment she's already taken? Huge Samoan drop from Max the Impaler there. Just the strength required to get someone like Rhea Von Slasher up on your shoulders. Impressive maneuver from Max the Impaler who it's really finding their wind as this match goes on. Getting in the face of our referee here. Calling that a three count. I feel like I'm sensing some frustration from Max the Impaler, but that could be just how they are. And now Rhea! Oh my goodness! Wrapped up Max and turned that into a something of a judo throw, it looked like. But you can see Rhea Von Slasher bracing her head pretty much every time she hits the mat. She has taken some real punishment in this match and is going to head to the top rope hoping to deliver some of her own. Oh, at this stage of the match, you're looking for a home run shot and Rhea Von Slasher going to the high rent district looking to put Maxi Impaler away. Of course, just about every district in this city is a high rent <laughs> district. Very well. As Max the Impaler moves in to intercept. A battle on the second rope in the corner. 
Oh my, oh my, sunset flip for Rev on Slasher. Max the Impaler takes a sit down power bomb and Rhea almost gets the win. Kick out at two and a half. A lot of people here were certain that would be it. Myself included. Including Rhea Von Slasher. Look at her face right now. She can't believe that wasn't it. How much more can she even deliver? Maybe she's looking for that Vader bomb. She looked for it before, didn't quite hit it. Going back up to Brett's rope. As this crowd now firmly in the corner of Rhea Von Slasher stopped from delivering the Vader bomb once again. And oh my, this looks dangerous. Canadian backbreaker for Maxi Impaler. Oh! That had to be it. Max the Impaler gets the win in their first appearance in an NEW ring, and what an impressive performance. Let's see if the referee has the courage to raise the hand. This match is over, but I don't think if Max the Impaler doesn't hear a bell, they're going to keep doing the battering here. I don't think Max even cares that she's got the win. Whoa, whoa, Justin Morris said, hold on here. That's. That's Cremator. Cremator? What? Cremator Von Slasher. Cremator, a legend in this region. Oh, ho, ho. And Cremator now sticking up for Rhea. Finally, we get a bell rung. As Max just threw the referee right into Cremator Von Slasher. I haven't seen Cremator in years. As Cremator, he wants to deliver a choke slam, but is being held back by the <laughs> official. Oh, I feel so bad for this official. Every person he's encountering is a scary, oh dangerous my. individual. And he's about to find out right now. Cremator looking for the incinerator, the big choke slam. As Cremator just sent our referee straight to hell. The man is just trying to do his job. Come on. As Max the Impaler, not the only one making their big NEW debut in this match. Cremator Von Slasher coming to the defense 